Are you looking to buy or sell a home and have questions on title? Well, you're in luck because I have title expert Cody Gordon in the house today to answer your questions. Watch this video to learn more. Hi, I'm Galen Trombley with Kavanaugh Realty and I have Cody Gordon here from Clinton Abstract to answer some title questions for you guys. Um, so Cody, when we do a title search for a seller, so a seller's looking to per or sell their property, they do a title search, you guys do that, um, hopefully to find no issues, but that's not always the case. If an issue does pop up, is the seller unable to sell the home or what's going on? So if um, something pops up in the search that's very, very serious that we think that it could stop the closing, then we'll contact the attorney um, who ordered the search and address and have them address the situation, decide if they want to continue, maybe contact the seller or the buyer and see if we can get this issue resolved. Okay. Now, if it's something minor um, that it, that can be taken up, taken on at closing, then we'll put that in the search and then the attorney at that time will then um, address it at closing, make sure it's taken care of. Okay, so if we talk about what's, what's like a minor, a minor issue that might come up that we could, you know, at, at the closing table resolve? Um, something minor that could come up would be that there's a, um, a couple thousand dollar judgment or hundred dollar judgment against the seller or... Um, and a judgment being? A judgment would be when um, a bill maybe was unpaid, like okay. a credit card or yep. your income taxes or things like that. Okay, and, and anything else that would be considered minor? Or that, that pretty um, something much else general. minor, you know, just could be um, some estate work that, that wasn't filed in the Clinton County Surrogates Court, um, where um, as researchers, we don't know um, who the heirs were, just small things like that. Um, we would continue to do the research as we can, and then um, it would be brought to the attorney's attention. And a major one? A major one. A Ma major one that might stop the deal or something that might um, really come up that... major one could be uh, that back in, you know, 10 years ago, um, somebody else has an interest in the property and they never signed off on a deed. Um, they could now be deceased and all their kids have interest in the property. Um, sometimes you find crazy searches where um, you might have 30 people who have an interest in property, but one person thinks that they own it at the time. So it's, we generally try to call the uh, attorney and let them know that there's a serious and, issue. And what about, um, I, I know we've talked about before, but like mineral rights and things like that, like that explain that to people um so so mineral rights um typically were reserved back in the early 18 and 1900s um these big corporations that did um mining and minerals when that was a big thing around here um they were they sold out property but they reserved what's called the mineral rights and um now there's companies who now own those they've been brought to date and um if there were any minerals on the property, they would have the right to go in and, and um, remove them from the property. So a title search, you have to go back a minimum of 40 years. Do you find that homes, I would think newer homes probably have less issues just because they don't have as much history as if maybe if someone that owned the house for, it's been in the family for say 60 years, 70 years, is there more likely to have a, a you know, maybe a, a major issue on that one because of some of those old, maybe some old, people thinking they own some part of the property back, you know, from 1930 or something right. versus something from mid 1990s or 2000. Right. Def definitely Galen. So, so when there's a piece of property that's been in the family for a long time, you can see that there's sometimes there's more issues just because there probably hasn't been a title search done, mm -hmm. um, in the last hundred years and, um, no issues were resolved and things happened. Now on a newer piece of property, more than likely a title search was done just because it was a newer transaction, there may have been a new mortgage. So any, any issues that were that, that may have come up were probably resolved around there, especially with let's say a subdivision and things like that. Okay, yeah. um, many lots were sold out, so if there were any issues when the first lot was sold out, most likely any issues were dealt with at that point. Oh, cool. So if you guys have any title questions and want to reach Cody um, at Clinton Abstract, the number is? 518-563-7240. Uh, Great, and, and obviously buy or sell a home, give me a call, Galen Trombley, Kavanaugh Realty, 572-0088. Thanks a lot.